There was a light burning brighter somewhere. Got to be birds flying higher in the sky. If I can dream of a better land where all my brothers walk hand in hand, tell me why. to hear your story that you have to tell of what you're doing in your community. So are you ready? Yes, we are! All right, let's go for it. From the Native Americans to the New World Explorers, Tupelo has been a site for dreams. From the boy who walked into Tupelo Hardware, the bygone, walked out with a guitar, and ended up the king of rock and roll. Hey. From I Have a Dream, the first African American <laughs> and the first woman president of the Tupelo City Council. <laughs> tornado of 1936 to the rebuilding after the tornado of 2014. We are Tupelo! We are a city where dreams dream become reality and the children have the tool to reach their full potential. That's because of the Tupelo spirit <coughs> which unifies us and helps us points us in the right direction. We even built our own field of dreams, the Tupelo Aquatic Center, which started as a grassroots <coughs> conversation with our citizens. Just three years after those citizens, nonprofits, and government leaders sat at the table to dream, we cut the ribbon on our $12 million state-of-the-art Tupelo Aquatic Center. Through little ripples, every Tupelo public primary student learns to swim and special needs athletes participate on the Challenger swim team with the opportunity to represent Tupelo in the Special Olympics. Go Challenge, go Tupelo! Last year, 93 kids from Tupelo and Northeast Mississippi were amongst 36,564 children to participate in the world's largest swim lesson. We're in the Guinness Book of World Records. Ooh. 
children dream and they dream large through the two-blow spirit of community, government, nonprofit, the church, we nurture those dreams, especially the most vulnerable. These metrics represent a quarter of our nation's public school students, but the high school dropout rate for the Hispanic youth is the highest among all ethnic groups. El Centro seeks to bridge the educational divide and stand as a resource and a place of inspiration for Hispanics in Tupelo and Northeast Mississippi. El Centro is a place where we can associate with people who face similar challenges. We admire and respect the adults that lead us in fun activities and give us homework help. They help us build confidence and pride and encourage us to work hard and be proud of our accomplishments. El Centro has played an important part of my life since I was eight years old. I have fond memories of reading and singing the annual Migos 5K run, which I've won twice. Ah. <laughs> Developing Tupelo as a city where dreams become a reality means investing in our future by empowering our youth. Franklin Douglas once said it is easier to build strong children than to prepare for men. In Tupelo, we take that. <coughs> Since 1996, the Boys and Girls Clubs of North Mississippi has served vulnerable youth through our two Tupelo clubs. The average daily attendance of both clubs is 170, and it swells to over 200 during the summertime. For the past five years, among our active members, we have had zero teen pregnancy, and as of May 2015, the cumulative GPA of both clubs was 3.2. For the Plan of Save program, we mentor future members of the workforce by providing them an opportunity to work with city professionals. We have seen more than 100 applicants complete this program since it began in 2011. 90% stayed in school and continued to higher education. Planet C helped me develop a relationship with the Tupelo firefighters when I worked there in the eight weeks. The program also helped me make a career choice. I'm now a proud member of the Tupelo firefighters. As a Planet C worker, I was placed at the Tupelo Fire Department where I learned to use different tools, develop people's skills, and work with the public. I signed on as a volunteer firefighter to learn even more. I am now a proud member of the Tupelo Fire Department. Yeah. Police work is more than catching criminals. In Tupelo, we understand that community-oriented policing is the key to keeping our citizens safe, <coughs> preventing crime, and keeping our youth out of trouble. One way we accomplish this is through the Tupelo Police Athletic League, or Tupelo. <coughs> through PAL, many of our area youth, including Rashad and Carla's dreams, have been realized. Last winter, the Link Center bought a spoken word poet to the PAL for a week-long workshop. Kids worked on putting their paper, putting their Everything is right. The only thing I have to say, I want to introduce you to Jamie. He's one of our power kids. He's done a, he wrote a poem, and I really want you guys to really listen to it. Where am I? Where do I supposed to be? Why am I here? So many questions, but only so much time to speak. I need help. I don't know who I am anymore. I feel like I've been in a coma for quite a while. I don't even know my name. Am I famous or am I lame? I just feel like I have no brain. Help, someone please help me. I don't even know my parents' name. Wait, do I even have parents? Family or friends? Sisters or brothers? Man, I need someone to lend me a hand. <coughs> Jamie here is one of our family now. He has pal who started a pickup basketball game in a local church gym about 10 years ago. Now he has his own gym and headquarters in a low income neighborhood. Hundreds of kids like Jamie go through this program. Through pal, Many dreams are realized. We are Tupelo! Two days before Christmas of 2013, bank robbers ambushed two of our police officers, killing one and critically wounding another. We were still reeling from that tragedy. When on April 28, uh, 2014, an EF3 tornado tore through the city, destroying or damaging over 650 homes and 50 commercial buildings and the beautiful tree canopy over the affected neighborhoods. But filled with this Tupelo spirit, our community came together and we rebuilt our homes, we rebuilt our businesses, and we rebuilt our dream. City Department heads, Mayor Jason Shelton, and members of the City Council were prepared, unified, and organized. Fire Chief Thomas Walker took the lead as emergency coordinator and set up headquarters at fire station number one. 
As people crawl from the places of safety and begin to survey the damage, others asked how they could help. The Northeast Mississippi United Way organized volunteers while the police department and fire department conducted door-to-door -door searches for the missing dead or wounded. While many were injured, nobody died as a result of the storm. And local agencies began immediately providing bare to basic necessities. And within hours, United Way began organizing and deploying the more than 3,000 volunteers who came pouring in from the surrounding communities. And then, just eight weeks after the tornado's touchdown, 3,000 more volunteers came to town with eight days of hope. Eight Days of Hope is a faith-based ministry and we're located in Tupelo, Mississippi. We have traveled all over the country to serve other communities after disaster strikes. Normally it takes six to nine months to plan an effort of this size. But because of the cooperation among the churches, the schools, and the businesses, we were able to bring 3,023 volunteers to Tupelo very quickly. We rebuilt 235 homes, some from the ground up, multiple places of worship in two city parks. Five million dollars of work for free in just eight days. These were people that we had never seen who came to our house to install siding windows and doors to replace those damaged by the storm. All of the work and the materials donated to our family. All thanks be to God. Amen, Amy. But you know, you and your husband, you did your part too, because just hours after the tornado came to the city, Amy and Chad set up a feeding station in the hardest hit neighborhood. And they fed hundreds of volunteers for almost a week, and they never charged anyone even a penny. Life continued amid the devastation. Without hesitation, our city decided to go forward with our annual spring festival, which is the Gum Tree Arts Festival in Tim K. Ron. So as a city, we, piled, we cleared the streets, piled the debris to the side, and as the runners made their way past the damaged houses, in the down trees, they were cheered on by our citizens who were proclaiming, Two Thousand Strong! Thirty volunteers representing nonprofits, faith-based organizations, local government, large businesses, small businesses, all came together to form the community-based recovery committee. We hired a case manager and a construction manager to ensure that anyone who needed help received it. And nobody fell through the cracks. I mean, this recovery set standards never seen before anywhere in the country. And since then, state and local governments have used this record-setting response to illustrate to their communities how to respond to a natural disaster. We are Tupelo! Tupelo's spirit is stronger than ever. We're unified and moving forward to continue to build upon this place of dream. The Tupelo Aquatic Center provides new opportunities for sports-related tourism. The Police Athletic League, El Centro, the Boys and Girls Club, and the Planet Sea program demonstrate that the youth of the city of Tupelo will never be forgotten. And as a city, our response to the crisis proves that nothing, that nothing can break the Tupelo spirit. We are Tupelo!